we're live. Uh, we're, 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 oh, yeah, we're live, yeah, I think, Switch right? TV slash I think I got the local recording going. All right, going in with the intro. Did I did not switch it, it because I totally forgot to do this and now, Eric now until just now. Situation, but Adam is still very dangerous. He's going to go for okay. the chip. Oh, he's going to be over. He's going to be He got the red berry, and, and got that's the it. <laughs> we interrupt our program to, to bring you this important message. Super Desperation Radio! Go! Yo! <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> like, the fucking handshake, man. What handshake? That wasn't a handshake. It was like, don't touch me, dude. <laughs> Shit! You ain't good enough. <laughs> that was the hand slip. Yeah, man. Like, get off me with that. What's wrong with you? We ain't friends. Welcome to another exciting episode of Super Desperation Radio here in uh, sunny California at Team Spooky. It's Studios. too sunny. It's too fucking sunny. It's, it's too sunny. It's too sp- it's too spooky. It's too sunny out here in California. Uh, we're, we're melting on the sidewalks. I am currently broadcasting from a bunker beneath the Earth's crust, and it's got <laughs> some pretty good air conditioning in here. So you know that, that's pretty nice. What's okay. Wrong with you? Look, man, my people have evolved to tolerate this amount of heat, okay? So I'm just sitting here relaxing. Nice uh, sweater. Oh, you've got it the worst, and, uh, I imagine. Uh, I have no idea how hot it is here. I really don't care. <laughs> I, I'm I'm honestly, I feel good. I like this. Just sitting here in a goddamn tank top and a turban. I'm rocking the... Uh, Did you say mold. turban? <laughs> hey, hey. Don't quote me, all right? I say nothing. Let's move on, okay. Well, before, we, before we start, actually, we have... A birthday boy in the building today. Oh God! Yes, right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before we do this, his birthday was supposed to be in two days, but he smoked two joints, so it could be. Today. <laughs> okay. My birthday was actually supposed to be seven days before today, but whatever. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to know is that in celebration of Walkman's birthday, Capcom reve- revealed Guile as America. <laughs> yeah. They knew. Wow, and man. oh my god. Guile stole Fatal Fury <laughs> mechanics. He can crawl. He can crawl <laughs> now shit. while charging. Yo, Fatal you know Fury. He can crawl because Metroid can't. <laughs> yeah, Metroid can only ball. She can't crawl. Yep. I mean, it's a, it's a fair trade. But yeah, I guess. Not only can he crawl, though, he now has a barrier. Yeah. It's more wait, like, wait. It, it seems like it's more like Split Seal. Is it like split shield? Actually, yeah, it does work like split shield because you can, like, you can post process sonic booms through it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't it doesn't buff them in terms of what they, how they attack, but I guess what it makes them it, that says it ups the durability. We don't know exactly how much yet. It might hmm. do more than that, but who knows? But uh... yeah, this breakdown and the Alex breakdown were only the most vague. The only thing is that it sounds amazing. And I'm moving on to the new flavor of the month, the guy when he comes out. Dude, you know what I'm thinking stuff. of? It's like, with these ideas being vague, I wonder if they just have a general game plan for their characters, and then when people start, like, spitballing ideas as to what it could be when they give these vague descriptions, they just take what sounds the best. Maybe. Like, there's just Woshiga just, like, scouring Twitter. It's like, oh, that guy says it's Split Seal. I, what, yeah, it's great. Do that. Do that. Do that. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best. That's the best, yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, use it on Oki, too? Yeah, fucking do that shit. <laughs> a, a split seal that works on Oki. Ugh. Bison's gonna have a hard time. <laughs> also, I like that they're they're just fucking. They're like, yeah, you know his uh, his V trigger is just you know you have Koryu Guile, you have Rainbow Edition Guile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. just throw all the fucking Sonic boom. He's got Sonic Blade Super man. Jeez, just fucking mix and I, match. I want to know does does he like turn into like Zareth from League of Legends where you're just like a, you can't move but you're just like fucking. Ch- Chucking booms everywhere? Like, what's going uh, on here? So, the one thing that I could probably say about uh, the, the Gals Beast uh, trigger is that it probably makes the uh, Marvel 2 uh, Sentinel matchup 9 1 in Gals' favor, much like uh, Strider. <laughs> you know, just go in there and then kick that ass, like, real fast. <laughs> so, what you guys are saying, I heard Shield at first, and I hear a barrage of booms. He sounds like Vic Viper right now. <laughs> He's got force. The front, the front shield, yeah, and then he yeah. just gets the options. Then yeah, they just exactly. Go crazy. I like this. I'm going to play American Victor. Dude, imagine if Guile had options instead of his V-Trigger, and he could just, they all shoot a boom at the same time. That would be the cheapest <laughs> shit ever. 
laser booms. <laughs> See, you hear that laugh? I'm pretty sure that's what Ushige was doing when he decided to make certain uh, things with his yeah. character. I'm still wondering, like, how there's a really important part of that character breakdown that it's one sentence with no description. They're like, he has a command crouch walk. And you're like, what does that mean? Like, is, I, is that a, a V-trigger? Is that a special you can can in, oh. cancel into? Is this the world's first command walk? So it's a command walk and not just holding down forward? We don't Nobody's know. Nobody's saying. Nobody's all saying. Because it's like, which... all, they know, all they've said is that it allows you to keep charge while you move forward. Mm. Except charges could either be like, oh, does he have crouch walking flash kick? Because that sounds dumb. Or does he have, like, walking booms, which, you know, also sounds dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's like, boom now down up or some let, shit? Like, you can hold down forward? I don't know. Let Kyle can now crouch dash and, uh, sk- uh, fucking box step. You know? You can just... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like I said, crouching and crawling wasn't Fatal Fury back in the day, so Fatal Fury special yeah. came with yeah. the crouching, crouching blade kicks. It wasn't overpowered at all. It was just kind of broken, okay? okay? Just kind of broken? Just kind of broken. Okay. Well, I mean, wasn't you, that... did say, you did say Kim and old game, yes. so I assumed whatever was about to be followed by was that was that shit was way too good. But yeah. he's not the best. Joe is better than he is. Just by well, a little bit. Joe just has <laughs> bullshit like properties in general, so... No, Joe could just walk up and just love tap you with jabs and kill you. I know, right. that's, that's just <laughs> bullshit properties! <laughs> not that I'm mad. Not that I'm that's mad about bullshit. it. Those are those Muay Thai fists, man. I mean, it's legit. I enjoy, I enjoy doing it to people. I'm just I saying. thought Joe was your boy, though. He is my yeah, boy. That's he... what, But even I know. I'm like, hey, Joe, we, we're a little fraudulent right now. I think people are going to expose us. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, hey, you know what's not fraudulent? Getting that W, sir. That's true. Like Nobody can argue with that. It's like somebody just breaks you down. It's like you know that's a that's a five frame jab that's plus seven on block and hit, right? And you're like, and it's all good, baby. Like don't get hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, better block it, back dash, man. Heard, heard oh, I like to can. win. I don't know about you. Better lane switch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can now play as AI Guile, where he just walks forward and flash kicks. He's like, yeah, what's yes, up? I don't want to do that. Street <laughs> Fighter Two. My yeah, fucking I'm, prayers have been answered. I'm sure people. I'm like, I can't be certain, but yeah, I'm sure people in the arcade be like. Yo, how did he flash kick me like that? Like, how do I... Is that a command? Do I do that shit? Like, you got like, a DP all of a sudden shit? Yeah, what? <laughs> what the, first day, the first time you saw an actual human being do, like, a combo in a standing flash kick, you're like, that dude's a witch. That, guy, <laughs> oh, man. that man is actually a warlock. Burn him. I mean, the crazy thing is, you can do crap like that now, but it still requires, like, you know, like, you had to be charging, and then you stood up for, like, half a frame, and you just hit up after hitting a button, and it yeah. saved the charge. You're not I mean, doing you can like in the, the old games, off. you actually can like take, you can almost take like a step or two and then still get it. Right. But yeah. And you're probably still gonna be able to do that in five. But I mean, why bother now, right? With the crawl, it's like you can just make it easy on yourself. I just, I really wonder how that's all gonna work. He's, I mean, he sounds honestly. It's, it sounds like he is the reason that every character in this game, their V skill like negates fireballs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's like this dude's gonna be all in your ass with fireballs. <laughs> Oh my god! I I like that though because like there needed to be a zoning character. Yeah, but every time I think about his V trigger, I all I can think about is like, uh, what's it called? Uh, King's Leader DM in two thousand three. Oh god, that was the best. Which just that was just throws all the different various like height of Of uh, battle strikes. Battle strikes. Those are awesome, man. Because like you're just like if you're Shin Wu, you just hit C and you're like, ah, they're all like one frame in between, so I can auto guard all of them. (laughs) 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 Actually, in that game. Uh, the projectile reflect was just quarter circle back, so you could just like slap all of them away like you're a DBZ character. Yeah, like, no, 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 so no, sick, no, 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 no. <laughs> slap them all. Can we talk about one thing about Guile though? Like, you know, I like that you know they're, they're putting new spins on old characters, except for you know Ryu. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuck that character. Oh, Ryu and Chun Li. You know. Hey, look! What? They just made them like different versions of Third Strike. But they didn't give Ryu Donkey Kick for some reason. Dude, it took, I, I, it, it took Ryu. Didn't. It took him twenty years to learn that move. Give the guy some time. That's like, true. <laughs> we're, we're not there yet. That's like you know. He it's like get Ryu pretty slow pretty learner, but once he gets there, <laughs> it's like think about it. Ryu was like into his twenties. He was able to throw electrically charged fireballs, punch people so hard that Hugo, who is a, a literal giant, had to get knocked the fuck out. Can spin so far that he can travel like meters. Just spinning in his legs, just over the air. But he can't do a simple sidekick until he's in his late forties. Well, think about it. Like, if you ever looked at like the the third strike manga, like 
at the very end, he learns the punch, and where he just punches Akuma and kills him with like one punch. What just, the like, fuck? Shinshore Yukin was is too fancy. Just <laughs> have him throw, throw, have him throw like a straight, and it just pierces through the dude's Wait, chest. You We're mean good. tell so me what? he just throws out the the Street Fighter equivalent of Ichigeki? Just yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the final move. <laughs> well, that's, that's, what, uh... happens, what happens is is between right. Street Fighter Five and. Third strike. He actually meets Shawn Michaels and learns sweet chin music. There we go. <laughs> yeah, warm up the band. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, if that's the case, he is not as flexible as Shawn Michaels is. Nah, man. He just he can't get it up that high. So he's not it, our sexy boy, dude. Like, yeah, I mean, it's, unless it's, it's, <laughs> the sexy Ryu should have the donkey kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that would be so godlike. <laughs> <laughs> but going back to Gal for a second, why does he look like a mall cop? <laughs> oh yeah, he's Paul Bart, baby. He's Paul Blart. Like, I just want to say, like, uh, like Mondo's been going in pretty hard on that meme, like, all day. He's like, I, I made something funny, guys. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Getting the segue and everything? Holy shit. I just like how his stage is, like, the old Street Fighter 2, like, World Warrior Championship Edition stage, and it's just, like, everybody's still here. They're still the same age, and the list they're all still yeah, working on. I mean, technically, it's not that yeah, far in between. There's, there's still that guy getting the handy on the box, <laughs> <laughs> and then they they're just listening to that that sweet tape deck, baby. Like you know, oh Jesus, <laughs> gotta have that ghetto blaster, otherwise you know, fucking, it's not legit. I just have to but show I, this thing real quick from like from uh, keep talking. I just have to show this thing from fucking yeah, Mondo. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just retweeted it too. It's like it's still dead. Like, I don't like. I get that. That could be. That could be an Air Force uniform going on. But why are the sleeves all rolled up? Like, <laughs> gotta see the tattoo, man. It's not guy without the tattoo. I guess right. <laughs> it might be a clone. What is he? Is he like Jag in this game or something? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, that short-lived TV I guess it wasn't that short-lived TV show. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, he's so ready to talk to those kids loitering in front of the Dairy Queen, man! They're talking- oh, he's even got his fist up like he was just shaking it? <laughs> those kids Damn are using it. swear words in front of the, the building they Disrespecting my authority! <laughs> I'm glad they gave him the old, old old stage back. Uh, one of my friends was talking about like, what is the, uh, what is the stage music gonna be though? Because you got to have the guile theme with the stage. You can't hike. Dude, I'd be so fucking impressed if they've done these fucking rehashes of themes for a bunch of characters, right? Like, we got another Ryu theme, we got another Ken, we got another Chun Li. Karin, obviously, like like actually breaking that curve. Karin got a new theme that just plays homage to the old one with like a slight right, uh, a slight um. Uh, slight Alpha Three, like in like fifty seconds in, and then it it's, forgets it. And Nash just has all of his Alpha themes, like even like ending music, played at once. <laughs> what if for Guile they just put the sickest swerve and don't bring back that song? <laughs> like they pull like, like they that excerpt. Yeah, they just give Guile a completely new theme. I mean, I might be sad. I gotta be honest. And like, we, not even Strange Sunset. We just get a completely new Guile theme. <laughs> Or, or they pull the sick one where, like, it's the gal theme nobody knows where it's like, yeah, guys, it's wisdom, you know, the Alpha 3 theme, and you're like, what? I was like, where do you get the balls? Where do you get the balls, sir? The audacity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would, be, I would be interested in seeing, like, you know, a little bit of a shake up there, because I want to see, like, gal's theme as the stage music, but maybe, yeah, give him his Alpha 3 theme, and then once we break that seal, if Evil Reuse in the game, we can get fucking Black Power as his theme song. Yeah, Black Power! <laughs> Like, so come on. we all know you all just talking this good shit. We all know it's actually just gonna be a remix of the Street Fighter Two Guile theme, right? Oh, you understand? Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, a knockoff of Highway to the Danger Zone. <laughs> actually, even better if it was actually just the Top Gun main theme. That song's like that's that that was pretty a, hard. Yeah, but back when I was a kid, every time I heard that shit, like. I would swell up with pride or America. Yeah, you just want to stand at attention. You're just like, <laughs> well, 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 well. like the fucking, that shit got me so amped when I was like three. This shit was so good. <laughs> Walkman way too amped at age three. Can't even can't even muster up that much excitement all these years later. <laughs> that made well. That honestly. That was the best part about booting up Top Gun to the NES. I I loved that game as stupid as it was. I don't even remember if I ever thought I was winning. I'm just like, damn. You weren't. Don't insane. worry, because as somebody who played it a few years 
older, you're never winning by playing that fucking game. <laughs> nah, you're, you're, you're losing one I way or the other. I still enjoyed it. I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm never get... going to be able to get this mid-air refueling off this. I'm fucking dead. Even if you get through the dog fight, like, the fucking mini game at the end is going to fuck you anyway. Dude, yeah, yeah it's, exactly. You could get the mid-air refueling. That wasn't the hard part, but the randomness of landing the plane. You'd be like, yo, I did perfect everything. Like, you're just going for the landing and you just see the little cutscene as your plane crashes like, 30 feet in front of the fucking carrier and you're like, fuck this game. Fucking air traffic controls all like, up, up, man. Like, are you guys fucking high over there? Like, dude, we're all blazed up in here, man. Up, up, man. Down, up, up. The, the 100% way to land the plane is to let Jesus take the wheel. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't actually move it. You just, you know, let it happen and one way or the other you either run out of lives and you'll find something better to do with your day or you like, proceed to the next level. So, it's kind of a win-win situation. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, anyways, I'm really excited for Guile. Uh, I am too, because I really ha don't have a character in 5. I've been playing Nikali a little bit, and I played Fong a little bit before that, but neither of them really fit the way I want to play, so... Yeah. I don't know, like, that's the thing, like, Street Fighter 5 is a decent game and all that, but, like, there's just... A lot, a lot of the characters appeal to me right now. I've been playing a little bit of Alex. And I definitely think he's worse than Birdie, but I still enjoy him a little bit more. But yeah, yeah. at the same time, it's just a little underwhelming. Uh, Gal sounds cool. I wonder what the recovery on his booms is going to be like. I don't know. That'll well, be interesting. One you know, other thing to think about is so many characters that have been switched to quarter circle motions. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. I want to see if he's going to have quarter circle booms. That would be... Uh, the, okay, here's the problem with that. That's either going to be... Like, he's going to be really, really strong, like, actually too strong. Yeah. Or he's not really going to be able to zone that well. And they're going to, what are they going to try to do what they, they did with Nash, where it's like booms are like plus on block? That kind of sucks. You know what they should do is uh, make him like Macaulay and his V trigger just doesn't turn on. <laughs> John, I'm just chucking. I'm just chucking booms forever, y'all. You just Sorry. take that ass beating, and then you just, you know, you get the fuck up. You're like, all right, now we're playing my game. Start jabbing out booms. <laughs> It's just a gal nice theme, and the real gal <laughs> theme when you pop the trigger. <laughs> I'm still sad, but like this, this is a this is closer to what I had imagined. Because back when Street Fighter Four came out, and they released Ultra Twos, I'm like, Guile's Ultra Two's got to be. He turns into World Warrior Guile or, or Championship Edition Guile. It's, like the, it's just the sprite just comes in, <laughs> moves you like an eighth of your health, and you just get your ass beat. Gives you the hand This is close clinch. to that because you could just boom like crazy, I guess. But still, he's. I wanted his V trigger to be turned into a Street Fighter Two battle. His critical arc should just be like handcuff throw or something, like one yeah, for the like one throw, then the OTG throw or some shit like that. Yeah, he just he just throws you like four times. <laughs> full screen command grab. You got to be in the air when he throws it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm excited for the flying buster drop though. I want to see some people. Get oh yeah, man, it's gonna be pretty sick. Nash's air knee is kind of whack, so. I was, yeah. I was not happy with that. It'll be interesting to see which normals he actually has. The best normals. Yeah, they might change because, it completely. Because Nash has oh, like a ton of them. So mm. it'll be interesting to see which ones he has. I wonder if he's going to have old Guile stand roundhouse at the angle. Um, like What other moves didn't he have? Standing medium, I guess. Standing yeah, I guess medium. he'll have... He'll probably have better Sobot. Even though... Even though Nash has it? Yeah. <laughs> His will be overhead, and then people will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, gonna, he's gotta have upside-down kick. I mean, yeah. That'll be like an overhead or something. Oh, Serlin! Yeah! <laughs> uh, the thing is, didn't like the majority of older... Uh, basically, the returning cast, and most of them get like their normals changed in some way? Kind of. Sort of. Like, uh... Ryu doesn't have close medium kick, but he just has like an all purpose medium punch from right. close range. Mm. Um, but for the most part, Ryu's like an amalgamation of like old Ryu and CVS2 Ryu, where he has just, you know, the straight fierce. Um, and then like a weird looking roundhouse. Ken is just got stubby normals, but they're all kind of there. Chun just got, she's got everything. Yeah. Um, Nash has everything in weird spots. Like, he has all of his command normals. They're just awkward. Like, they're not where you think they are. Um, Zangief is the one where it's like, yeah, hey, let's just give him shit. Like, fucking, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's like, here's, you know, hop knee. Here's headbutt. Here's, you know, armor fierce. I, I just want to say his, headbutt is his, shit. His low forward is his old crouching roundhouse. Yeah. 
and Crouching Roundhouse is more, it's more kind of like his old SF2 Crouching Roundhouse, in that it's like really short, actually. He just like kicks you in the ankle or some shit? Yeah. Mm. So it'll be interesting to see, because like Nash's versions of all of Guile's moves are kind of slow, like Backfist is slow, yeah. Bazooka Knee is slow, Step kick's pretty good. Bazooka but knee like, is slow, but it's just like it, it's weird how it moves. Like it's almost like like it's just yeah, so it's jerky. moving in slow motion. Yeah, but he just jerks forward all of a sudden. You're like, whoa, what, man? Yeah, it's like he slingshots. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, block that shit. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, Kyle is still only gonna have two moves, huh? Like no, outside of, he, they've already said he has a V trigger. That's a third move. Yeah, that doesn't count. That's a system mechanic. We'll okay, give him the so third what move. What I'm, else do you I'm, want? I'm hoping, I'm hoping command walk is a special input, <laughs> <laughs> and he has a third move. They just give him ducking, and then you could just do you could yeah. do a, a flash kick or a sonic boom out no, of No, man, they're finally gonna give him handcuffs. No, they'll never do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll never do that. That should be like oh, his wind pose or some shit. They're gonna give him ice clothes. Okay. Oh <laughs> my god. No, it's boom clone, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he throws a sonic boom with he throws a sonic boom with the entirety of his body and it just stays there until you run into it. He just in his like typical stance he goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's he's just gonna turn into a Regal statue, that's it. And, yeah. just, oh, Regal statue. Statue. and it's not gonna function properly. <laughs> but it will function uh, properly because it's intended to not function properly. Oh yeah, yeah right. I wonder how many hits it can take. Working as intended. Like, if that thing is taking, like, ten hits, I'm like, fuck, that's, that's pretty Yeah, good. I do exactly. I wonder how good the V skill is going to be. Because if that, like, if that takes at least, like, an EX fireball, like, two, that's going to be really good. Yeah. Like, that means you're basically going to have to block it if you like get close. Daigo going back to Kyle again? Nah, Daigo's got something to prove with Ryu, man. He's, he's, he's too far gone. Hmm. Like, he's already lost too many matches as Ryu. He's just like, oh, man, like, I can't switch now. <laughs> like, I, sure, I could have just played Nash this whole time, but n nah, no, gotta stick to my stick to my guns with this secret top tier character. <laughs> oh man! Hey man, he's just trying to he's he's actually playing to have fun with it. So oh yeah, he's I having a that. he's having a great what you, time. No, what are you guys talking about? He's not playing. He's hosting cosplay tournaments. <laughs> I mean, I was so confused by what that was. Seems like shit. Yeah. I was so confused. That, shit was... that was the weirdest <laughs> shit I've seen in a while. Goddamn, Daigo dressed as a fucking building. <laughs> Is that what that was? Is, I thought he was. Yeah, like, yeah. What that was? I had he was no a building. idea. Yes. I thought like, that was like a salt shaker or some shit. Yeah, no, it's like some some sun god type deal, the worship of some sort. It's not from Dark Souls, but you know, it's a thing like that. And uh, it was definitely kind of limp, you know. When it was on his head. It's the Tower yeah. of the Sun. There we go. Yeah, it's the, the Tower of Sunny Delight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that purple drink. It's in the mm -hmm. Expo That's sunny Commemoration day. Park in Suita, Osaka, Japan. I googled this by <laughs> sloppily typing sun, sun Building Japan. <laughs> oh, okay. There's only one. Yeah, I got it. This is it. So, yeah, it's definitely Daigo's costume. Yeah, for those who didn't see, Daigo held a cosplay only tournament. So if you entered, you had to cosplay or something. And it was 3v3. It was really fun to watch, I gotta say. There was a lot of different cosplay people from things I didn't know of. And it was entertaining. Giuna provided English commentary, and he was very upset that he could not sit on the couch. Because apparently, according to his translation, he is a filthy gaijin that doesn't belong on the couch. I mean... <laughs> uh, and he was very sad. I have never heard him that sad outside of when he's getting destroyed. Dude, I, I I tuned in for like 15 minutes, and I just heard him getting pissed off that Daigo didn't know who Jin Kisaragi was. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm all for this. I, I'm not like Daigo. Like, no, it, it was either Daigo or it was fucking... No, Kokuji was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I can see it being Kokuji more. And then uh, Nemo, left, Nemo was dressed as Chucky from Child's Play. That was actually pretty <laughs> legit. Oh, oh yeah, Fudo, Fudo, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he, he bailed uh, early on to go to Korea or some shit. Yeah, because he was that, in that, the SFB crash. Yeah, SFB crash. That's, oh, that's boy. When, uh, More on that later. Yeah, yeah. that's when... Um, what's his face? Gaijin guy decided to go over there and try to sit, but they didn't let him. <laughs> Dude, that was, they really blocked him? See, it sucks because we didn't get to see his, like, common writer pajamas. Those were sick. <laughs> yeah. The best was he put up a tweet. I guess he wanted to cosplay as Piccolo, 
and he's like, oh, well, you know, I couldn't do it for whatever reason, and then he just got a common Rider, and he's like, oh, you know, I told someone I was I was trying to cosplay as Piccolo, and they were kind of sad because they said I looked like Piccolo, and then he went through <laughs> depressed. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was a good event. I like the idea that you can see they all had fun with it. Um, yeah, and it was like all skill levels too. It wasn't like yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, I don't know if something like that would work as well here in the states, only because we're so separated and a lot of people are too embarrassed to do stuff like that. They're like, "Oh well, I wouldn't dress up as anything." No, that's stupid. Shit's but, whack, man. Got my they had a lot of fun. Got my reputation to uphold, man. Trying to keep it real in the streets. Mm-hmm. Fighters. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you that it was. I don't know who won. I didn't pay much attention to that. Uh. But it was definitely one of the the teams of three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. every team at least had like one ringer. Like. Yeah. That's true. I mean, you gotta have a ringer in those situations. I mean, I don't know if they purposely mixed them up. Like, it wasn't a random team thing, right? I don't know. It's hard to tell because it was just yeah. like because there were people that were like, oh yeah, you know, I do cosplay and I just wanted to be on this uh, and you know have fun. And there were other people that were like, yeah, you know, I'm some fighting gamer and you know I want to dress up as Elfelt. So. <laughs> I, I still think the best was uh the guy that was dressed as Bass from Dead or Alive. Oh yeah, the guy, oh the guy the, the strip the fighter creator, creator yeah, or yeah, programmer. The, creator of, the co-creator of Strip Fighter. They they both were on the team. I forgot what what his buddy was, but they're on it. And I think they had uh that Chun Li cosplayer. I forget her name, but they I think they got destroyed. I forgot. But his la his freaking Bass cosplay was perfect. He wanted to do good. Chang, but he didn't do Chang. I'm so upset. He could have pulled off Chang. Yeah, the Bass was pretty on point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he was significantly larger than everyone else there. So it was you good. grab someone by the leg, turn around, take three steps, and then toss their ass? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nobody plays Dead or Alive. Yeah, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I, I, I was I surprised you knew that, Alive man. Since the third one? Look, I played, Dead or Alive right. yeah. I played Dead or Alive 2, and I hated the game, and everyone told me there's an age filter on it that you can mess with that makes the game better. And I didn't get it, and then all I saw was just like tits bouncing everywhere. I'm like, this is stupid, and then I never put it back in my system again. <laughs> Dude, I, the my favorite part about DOA is just the fucking putasos, man. Fucking they played iron and just slam motherfuckers into walls, and they took like sixty percent damage. I'm like, this is the sickest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say okay. that game was that game was hilarious just to fuck around with, just because you're like, yo, just knock them off a building and watch like them lose like eighty percent. Oh jeez, that oh, was awful. Or the stage with like the unlimited staircases. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm pushing them downstairs. <laughs> so Tony. Funny you should mention that. <laughs> Boot this motherfucker down some stairs. <laughs> so, the one version of Dead or Alive that I played, I think it was 4, has a stage that has three flights of stairs. Right. You start at the top. In the very first version of the game, if you knock somebody down the first flight of the stairs, you go to the second, like, landing before yeah, the next yeah, flight yeah. of stairs, right? And then, you know, you are, you're supposed to fight it out and see who gets knocked down the second flight of steps. Well, funny thing was, they're forced onto, like, a hard knockdown state the first time they fall down the first flight of stairs so you can walk their corpse onto the next flight of stairs <laughs> and they wake yeah. up falling down the next flight <laughs> ah shit I told you bro I warned you it bro. keeps happening <laughs> <laughs> that shit is too fucking funny I remember that that's just uh, too, that's which too character has like, was it Bayman like one of them had a character where it's just like a fireman carry but then they just like violently chuck your ass across the screen oh well, Bayman had one that was like that, but, uh, what's his name? Leon just picks you up and he just like, huh! Like <laughs> yeah, and like you go into space, basically. <laughs> yeah, he gives you the fastball special and he just tosses your ass. <laughs> so, I played that character for a bit and I remember just losing a match because I couldn't stop laughing because I threw somebody into an elephant's ass at point blank and it did like 60% and I'm like, this game is too much for me. Like, I don't deserve DOA. <laughs> that shit's way too funny. No, uh, my favorite part about DOA was going on when they made, I think it was, I don't remember what they called it, but it was the DOA 2 they had online for the original Xbox. Oh, DOA 2 Extreme? Oh, uh, hardcore, yeah. right? Or hardcore, yeah. something yeah. like that. But the thing about that one is that if you were a lower rank than someone, you could, like, you take their points away, right? Well, in DOA 4, there was a hard cap on 1,000 points that someone could lose in a single match. In 2, it was 10,000 points. So, I, me and my friend would just go in and, like, hella low rank to just kick the shit out of fucking S rank players. They lose 10 Gs that fucking fast. It was the 
funniest shit. Wow. We would, that's the only reason why I actually got decent at DOA, was just so I could take other people's the pleasure fucking away. Fucking smurf people? Yeah, I'd be like, ah! Look at this guy, he just fucking lost two out and lost 10 Gs, fucking you guys. <laughs> that shit was the You're why I don't play Street Fighter Five online, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like that dude trying to submarine Arturo. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this shit's so good. Yeah, I'm a low rank. Doesn't mean I won't kick your ass. Check this shit. Out. Check these super bronze skills. Go keeping. Yeah. God, gotta keep them. Gotta keep People em. would lose their rank so fast too. Like it go from S like immediately down to like an A, and they'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> that dude. Those people are just yelling at their TVs, just like motherfucker. All yeah. that time. Oh no, they were yelling on Xbox. At Xbox, everybody had a fucking. Uh, oh microphone. god, the you worst thing about bitch. playing Xbox online. Oh. Everybody yelling, no matter what. It was the best. This is a great experience. That's how I, I love how happy you are about it. Like, uh, crushing people's just, dreams was just felt so. Good. You're just like, ah, fuck those people. Be yeah. miserable like me. <laughs> He'd be trying to do and shit, and I'd God. be playing iron, and I would just hit fucking back kick, and he just like does like this upward kick that kicks above his head, and it just launches the shit out of you, and it's like a hella good anti air or any situation. I'm like, eh, fuck you, and just do a quick combo and slam. Into I the just wall. really like the idea of Tony going online and be like, oh, you're an S rank player with forty thousand points. It'd be a shame if you lost the fourth of those. <laughs> it's so good. Just Man. punching people off a bridge. Yeah. I see you're an s rank player, but I'm afraid I've got some bad news. <laughs> That's, I mean, the the main reason why I also like playing Ayn and eventually Spartan 458, because I was a huge asshole, was the big grab damage. You get him against that wall... And then Ayn has that grab where he just punches you in the fucking gut like three times and it just every wall hit explodes. Oh my god, it was the best. Or, or just put the fucking grenade on him, kick him into the wall, they lose 60%. Dude, no, the best is the one the one stage in three where you could chuck people into oncoming traffic. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> that was the best. Yeah. I mean, say what you will about DOA. That's some of the most entertaining times I've had playing. Yeah, a that, that's video how I feel. Game. I'm like, the game's not, I don't consider it like a really good competitive game, but I had fun with it, shit. Yeah, I don't know. I still crack up at uh, the Evo Finals deciding combo being a combo that got <laughs> relaunched because oncoming traffic turned it into turned to thirty percent. Wasn't that in the trailer? That was in the trailer, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Like the one for Yo, like I think those are the best though. That shit is tight. Yeah, <laughs> like it's just that's how fucking evils were designed. I'm pretty sure that was Perfect Legend. Just like yeah, it was PL. Like he was just like yeah, oh, it was shit. like PL. Was like let me just do this dollar combo. You know, this is just my standard B and B. Oh, the car hit him sick. <laughs> <laughs> hooked up by design. <laughs> Working <laughs> as intended. I mean, if you're fighting in the street and you get your ass hit by a car, you I think you probably are gonna die. I'm just, I mean, you <laughs> <it's your point. laughs> got pushed into a truck. Like holy shit. Okay, so. Can we talk about nerfing cars then? Like, if I'm at 100% life right now, and a car can 0 to 100, I just think we need to tone down cars. Like, this is... <laughs> Oh, like I can man. at least take a couple Tony punches. Like no, it, it doesn't work that way. Cars were invented before patching started for fighting games, so we're never gonna update cars. Cars will always be OP again. Yeah, the the, the infrastructure behind them is just too old. All right, that's fucking dumb. Look, the we, cars are too strong. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, fuck everybody that plays Hayabusa in Dead or Alive. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wanna be Naruto-ass motherfuckers? Yeah. I mean, Hayate players were, like, almost just as bad, but the Hayabusa players definitely were the worst. And when people played double ninjas, like, when they were playing tag teams and shit, oh, man. Well, that's gotta be the worst. I mean, just by those looking at are, that. Those people are scumbags. I'll just say that right now. Like, you don't even play this game. You just like ninjas. Go watch an anime. And then the ninjas are never bad. No, of course not. Characters. Well, that's true in every fighting game. Like, what fighting game has a bad ninja character? Uh, is there a bad ninja in the, one of the Naruto games? I just want to say mean, the best might ninja be. is probably in Art of Fighting 3, but, you know. No! Yeah. Yeah. An actual bad ninja character in a fighting game. Can I think of one? I mean, even in, like, Power Instinct, Saizo kicks ass because he got the fucking fake fireball. Uh-huh. He just throws the fucking smoke bomb that doesn't explode, but gives him a billion frame advantage every time he does it, so pretty good. Yeah, of course Chindog in there defending Hayabusa. What's wrong with Hayabusa? Oh, yeah, I, know, the problem. I know a bad ninja in a game. Sub-Zero. Fucking <laughs> <character> sucks. <laughs> 
Like, we already went on it. Let's just move on yeah, to something that, 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 Yeah, all right. Real uh, topic shit. Yeah. We had a, a tournament this past weekend here in Southern California. Glorious Southern California. It was held in the city named after a fruit or a color. I don't, I don't know which one. Valencia? Valencia. And <laughs> it went... It was a pretty good tournament. Let's go Warzone 5. Uh, it was streamed on Level Up if you guys didn't watch it. Uh, mainly, just a lot of people from NorCal, SoCal. A few out-of-state competitors showed up. And they did fairly well. Uh, it was a nice little tournament. They, for whatever reason, they did Street Fighter 4. I don't understand. They gave a lot of time this. for that, too. Yeah, I know. Uh, they did 3v3 teams, if I remember right, for Street Fighter 5. And that was cool. Um... There was a player from San Diego. I think his name is SD Pinoy. Yeah, oh, amazing, yeah. Amazing bison player. This is like the most enjoyable bison to watch. If you didn't get the, the chance to see him, go watch his matches. Holy shit. So fun to watch. I like watching people who don't give a fuck. I was saying you love Grand Finals. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Grand Finals. Yeah, that's why I said Grand Finals was the sloppiest shit I've ever seen. But it was so fun. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. They were hitting combos. They just weren't blocking. So I wouldn't say they were sloppy. I would just say they were outright savage. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's why I didn't enjoy watching it. It was like playing, like, you know, Mark of the Wolves against Gibby. Yeah, I don't, I don't press back. I really don't. <laughs> I, was, I, I was actually just thinking it looked like people who just, you know, they were like, they knew some combos, but they weren't. They were just like, yo, what's back? Fuck back. I'm just going to do my moves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Look, here's the thing. You don't need to press back button, lever, whatever you want to call it, in order to win. Okay, this is SoCal. I'm pretty sure they both took cues from Valle and just rushed that shit down all day. That's it. I mean, that's that's, that's, right? that's kind of what happened. And they had, like, the, the two perfect characters for that shit. I mean, Nikali, he can block, but why? Rise that shit up. He doesn't that's need to block. Look, if, if Nikali takes takes hits to the face, he builds V-Trigger. Right? Exactly. And then when, when he when he activates it, he is a much better character. Exactly. So, so, you're, saying, so you're saying the, the, the wild-ass DPs were actually a tactical decision used to build a resource. Exactly. See, you understand this. Okay. People are like, oh no, that was a random DP. No, that was a strategic uh, surgical DP. The Surgical <laughs> DP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I bit my tongue while talking. <laughs> Yeah. This is what happens when I talk too much. See, Why that comes from years and years of experience. So Gibby, in his 40 years of playing fighting games, is pointing out to 42. all of us. 42. My apologies. In his 42 years of fighting game experience, is pointing out. In his 69 years of playing fighting games. <laughs> in his 420 <laughs> years of playing fighting games. In his 98 years, you missed it. You missed the joke. I can't uh, do no, it, man. man. 42, Jackie Math's Robinson. Hard, dude. Right? Yeah. The meaning so, of the universe, Jackie Robinson, all right? God damn it. So you're <laughs> saying what Eduardo was doing and what both of these players were doing were... You know, just trying to stop each other from building their momentum. So, but in Duardo's case, he's going to say, "I'm going to stop your momentum and start mine." But if I get hit, I'm building this permanent resource that puts me into wild man mode. Mm -hmm. So now, hold on. While he was trying to build momentum, would you say that Chris Tartarian was trying to create separation? Separate nah. Anxiety? Nah. Okay. I mean, he, uh, he's, he's, just, he's a kin player, man. He's just, he's just trying to DP. That's no, he's just following. He's just, you know, he's doing. He's, he's just doing. What, he's just doing. Julio does. No, I mean. he was. He was doing what his coaches were telling him to do. He had two separate. <laughs> yeah, Alex is just like just uppercut him. No, not Alex. He had two separate Kens in each ear, telling him to do shit. So he was kind of confused. That's why he was a bit too wild. Wait, what was the second Ken? I saw the Brent is cool. Uh, Julio was up in the level. Oh my oh, god! Man. No wonder. Shit. Yeah. He had the selection. <laughs> he had NorCal and SoCal helping him. See. He had the Ken, he had the Ken sampler going on behind him. Yep. They entered the tournament, the team tournament, as the Trinity. <laughs> Ken, Ken, and Ken. Come on. That uh, is awful. That's... So, having, having been at the Warzone on Saturday, it was pretty... Uh, I'd say it was fairly small in person, and there wasn't a ton for spectators to do. There was a few booths that had some neat stuff, but other than that, if you weren't playing in the event, there wasn't a whole lot to do. However, I felt the stream on Sunday was really good and really entertaining. Like, I thought all the commentary was fun, and they they kept it fairly light and upbeat, and there was a lot of, you know, just kind of laid-back commentary, which ended up working out pretty well for me, at least. No, yeah, definitely uh, e uh, a lot easier for people just trying to catch a stream to come in and digest instead of just being a ton of uh, jargon being thrown at you. Uh, you know, we got to see Steve and Sajam uh, do their work. Uh, Mike and K. Brad did some work. 
uh yeah just generally like a lot of fun uh commentary duos just keeping everything uh amusing for people because you know it's it's a long haul you know when yeah. top 32 starts on sunday and you're just like oh boy i don't think i can be awake that early yeah it's a bit of a grind i will i do have one complaint and i think uh people should know what that is and that is that winners finals losers finals and grand finals of guilty gear were two out of three like Really? Really? What the fuck. Like, I thought they was it gonna yeah. add that much time to add another game to each of those? Yeah, that was that was silly. weird. But like, there was definitely something dumber, and I, I wanted all of us to talk about this. And you guys saw the pause that happened between. Oh Ryan boy! And... No, I did not. Okay, I didn't see this. I only heard about it after. Okay, that was the dumbest shit, and some of the sloppiest shit I've seen from Tios. And I I don't know why they allowed this to happen. Why I accidentally paused? immediately unpaused like maybe half a second to a second afterwards and you know, when you pause you have the option to take the match right okay so champ played it out they played out the rest of that round champ lost and then champ complains afterwards okay and they said uh, i guess the excuse from what i'm being told is he didn't know what to do and he what, what? Because, what? <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> he kept playing because maya kept playing so he just went on. That's not how it <laughs> went on the game itself and said, hey, I'm going to take this round. No, instead he waits till he loses, and then he takes the round. Mind you, it was 1-1. So that was when Vaya won that round, that was it. That was the end of the game. Vaya, Vaya won 2-1. Two, two, and then Champ complained. And I guess Champ and Vaya agreed to replay that match. And they did. Champ won. And then, what? I don't know what in the fucking hell was going on. They replayed another match just, just because. Okay, I came in on that point and like it, I saw the score go up two in Champ's favor, and then he was like, "No, nah, one more," and I'm like, "Wait, yeah, what? that was the that that was the you know the way I won wasn't up to my taste." So um, let me just beat them again. Let, let's just let, yeah, let's just both play this back. Yeah, it's and by the way, I do want to point out. So I don't know what the CPT ruling is if it's going with the same Evo standard, yeah. but Evo as of last year, or if not 2014. Pausing is an immediate forfeit. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, not a decision the round. Yeah. yeah, it's not a decision on the other guy whether or not they want to be nice. It's an immediate forfeit. Exactly. Which it needed to be. And it needed, but yeah, it needed but to be as standard. we know, when we looked, the CPT does not have rules on the website. Yeah, they they may have an official rules document yeah. somewhere, but it is not on the website. So there were definitely rules about a month, month and a half ago on the internet. I don't know what the hell happened to them. I can't find these damn things anymore. I read them. Several people read them. They were used, like, people quoted them, took pictures of them. Shit's gone. I don't know where the fuck they went. I think, uh, I think our Lord Hans is hiding stuff from us. It might be retooling stuff, but, yeah, it be, it's but it's still, strange like, that it's disappearing. And, and, and I guess it wouldn't have mattered if the pause incident hadn't happened last weekend so that we could reference that and be like, yeah. you know, nah, this shouldn't be occurring. Here's what it says. But, Literally, it shouldn't be occurring. Yeah, but the the main issue I have here is the TOs did absolutely nothing. Like, like were they, they even there on the nothing. scene when it they happened? Let, you know, no, they they were there. Champ talked to him. Vaya talked to him. They were just both there talking. But they just let the players dictate what happened. That's not how you run a mm -mm, fucking tournament. Mm -mm. You need to make decisions. You you tell people, oh, this is how it is. This is how it's going to be. Deal with it. But it seems people are incapable of doing that. So it's like, oh man, this guy screwed up. He doesn't like the decision he made, so he wants to redo. Let's let him do it. Yeah, just, just, just let him. Ah, I got I to gotta ask, though. Now, if that had been, like, let's say, DJ Mirror versus Alex Valle, and DJ Mirror lost his match against Alex Valle after Alex Valle paused it, do you think he would be able to say, yeah, that's I don't the, think that's, you know... People have brought the same thing up. If it was random, little-known, unknown player, would the same situation have occurred? And I'm, I'm going to be... I don't know. And most people will say, no, it would not have been the same. It would have just been given to Vi. I personally don't know or give a shit. I'm talking about this this situation, and it shouldn't have happened at all. Vi should, in that exact situation, since Champ didn't take the round, Vi should have won. That was it, done. That's really what should have happened. This mm -hmm. isn't one of those, oh, you know, in hindsight, no. In that exact fucking moment, everyone when... on goddamn Twitter was saying the same shit. Vi should have taken that match. But eh, nothing. Well, no, Vaya, the champ should have took the match when he had the chance to. No, 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 no. in that situation. What oh, when he let him, when he let him go and yeah. played it out anyway. When yeah. Out. And but instead, it's like you know, I'm just gonna complain about this afterwards, and then see what see what happens from there. And the champ won, and I think champ got top eight or some shit. I don't know. I mean, you know what I think about this, so. 
Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Your situation was different, though. You I know. were already dead. I was and already then, drunk. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> and in Champ's case, he wasn't dead. Like, Champ should have taken the win right then and there. Well, right when the pause happened. Should have just let go of the stick, said, yeah, that's it, yo, hey, T.O., I'm taking this match. And it, like uh, we said earlier, it needs to be standard at every tournament. You either do something about this shit, or you have to deal with it on a case-by-case -case basis, and that's going to be fucked up if you do it that way. Another thing I got to wonder is, what if it wasn't Valle? What if it was just somebody else who did the pause and then beat Champ, and then Champ was like, nah, I don't want it, want it to go down that way, and then Champ still goes on to get third place over a, over somebody who's basically not Valle, who had other stuff to do that weekend anyway, you know? What do you mean? Like, like if someone hit paused on another control. No, I mean like, what if it wasn't Valle? What if it was another player in Valle's position? Doesn't matter. No, it I know it doesn't matter. matter, but it's just like one of those things. Where... The exact situation you did when it was Valle versus someone else. No, but it's, well, I mean like because Champ went on He's to get like top three. He's basically saying if it hadn't been top players, this would have yeah, been handled differently. I understand. That's that's what I'm saying. This is the same exact scenario he brought up earlier. If Valle paused against someone else and they wanted to redo at the end, the same thing. No, nah, it's different. in the other direction. This is totally different. No, anyway, I'm not arguing with that. I'm right. Just go on. Move on. It's okay, man. Wow. It's okay to be wrong. You got to hold that L. That's um, two L's in one year. You got to hold both of those, okay? Christ. Anyway, next yeah, topic. But, like, they need to do shit about this. It's fucking dumb as shit. And it just, you are representing another brand. You are a yeah. CPT tournament. It's and then, not and while I completely agree, Gibby, I want to point out one thing. Hmm. Where the fuck is Capcom with the official rules? Because I've spent the last five minutes trying to find them, okay. and they're no, no, fucking no, nowhere. We, no, we don't, yeah, we can't find minutes. them. I have spent over the past 24 hours trying to find these rules. I asked people on Twitter. I asked personal friends to find this shit. No one has been able to send me these rules. Like, I remember the rules. Like, Paul, you said this earlier, that the rules were similar to the evil rules, or they're using the evil rule set. That's well, what I, I yeah, that's what I, I thought but people had said that. I actually was remember people saying it. I don't think I ever saw rules on the website myself, because I never looked for them. But I could swear that people had basically said, at least for last year's CPT, that they were going by evil rules. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about this year. It's possible there's difference, but I'd like there to be something. It's possible that they're different, but I I highly doubt that they're going to change that pause rule. That pause rule is something that needs to be. Well, after what happened last year, yeah, they gotta they gotta not, have the hard fast rule. Not just that, like uh, Alex, you brought up a good point on Twitter the other day. Too. This game has what is it? Hold start for pause. Yes, it yeah. has and a feature that allows you default? to. Yeah, it is not default, and it is not an explicitly obvious thing unless you go look for it. So the game has hold to pause, which is a feature where accidentally tapping start does not pause the game in a versus mode, right? Skullgirls has it. It works beautifully. Uh, other games have since implemented it. Uh, Gear, I think, has it by default. Yeah. If I'm and not mistaken, Exert, like, yeah, in versus mode. For whatever fucking reason, Capcom decided to put hold to pause in their game, but it's not default for versus, and you have to turn it on, and turning it on is a universal feature, which means if you're doing the game's comically stupid survival mode to earn colors, you have to hold down the button to pause. <laughs> In case, like, you have to go pee suddenly in a one-player mode. It yeah. just turns it on everywhere. It turns yeah, it's it on really like, annoying. It turns yeah, it on in training mode, even. Yeah, it's it's foolish. Like, it's not just, oh, do you want to turn it on for everything? Do you want to turn it on for, you know... They, they didn't give you the granular options of where you want to turn it on. You know, that'd be neat if they were that thoughtful. But instead, they just turn it on everywhere, and it's not on by default. So you have to go look for it, and it's a setting that just says... It, it's not even, like, a clear-cut thing. It just says, thing one... <laughs> And, you know, there was a ton of outcry on Twitter when that pause happened of, t like, people were being like, hey, remind your TOs the turn on this pause thing, which is like, yeah, it's great. TO should have that on. Remind Definitely. your fucking Capcom game maker, or, you know, your fucking fighting game maker over here, that should be a fucking default. And be applied, uh, you know, where necessary. Yeah, like, just, yeah, you know, it's like the responsibility shouldn't have to fall on the TO to remember to turn that on. No. It should fall on the person that made this game to, you know, hammer that out. I get the game's rushed. I get they have to do all this stuff. But, you know, for all these updates and all these, like, rage quit things, just give us something. Tell us, like, hey, we're working on that, you know, next month, end of the year, by, you know, the end of Crabcom Pro Tour. It's going to be a default, and nobody has to worry about that ever again. Yeah, no, that's not happening. No, well, I, I hope that doesn't take that long, shit. <laughs> I mean, they're already dealing with rage quitters in like the worst way possible. God. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that is like, how are they even gonna? 
Like, are they just they're like, oh, you've been banned from playing online? Like, oh, all right. For a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I understand, like, you know, it's hard to deal with that stuff other than, like, straight up, like, you know, well, actually, they were doing a pretty good job of just ruining everybody's, you know, ranking by taking away their points, but I guess they don't want... They're just going to put them in timeout like it's League of Legends or Dota. More or less. (laughs) And I got to say, like, the whole ranking system in general, I mean, it's fine. It's just they've emphasized how it's going to play a role in in this year's, you know, competition. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, this wouldn't be a problem if it was just online points, because, you know, whatever. If people just want to rage quit for fake online points, they're free to do so. Right. But when these fake online points can guarantee you a spot... For, for 500k? Yeah, that, then we have problems. Yeah. And you're just going to let them, you know, sit on it for a couple hours a day, depending on how much they rage quit, you know? They lose nothing, other than time, that they're probably going to, Yeah, and you that's know... the thing. It's like, hey, if... Is the sanctity of their points still intact? Do they keep the mount that they had before, but they can't play? That also means they can't lose as much. Mm-hmm. So who knows if this guy that was, you know, suddenly platinum was going to run into, like, you know, Arturo five times in a row and get just get broken in half and yeah. get down to gold. That could totally happen. To, yeah. Instead, he just doesn't get to play, and, you know, he just, you know. He doesn't lose anything. He's still, like, you know, yeah. within the top, you know, 1,000 or the top Yeah, and then 200. he can just cleanly win a bunch, you know, in a row near the end of the the time or the calendar period for whatever these points are going to be ranked till, and just be like, yeah, you know, these were clean. Yep. No, here's the thing, though. If that does happen, they have to keep a record of this guy. Obviously, they keep a record of people who are rage quitting. That's what they're planning to do, and they're going to be, like, looking at it, or the system's going to be looking at it, and they're going to be saying this person needs to be put on timeout for a couple of days or something like that. If, that for whatever thing. reason, somebody like that ne- gets into CPT finals or a qualifier or whatever, there needs to be, a, like, a, a asterisk next to their name and, like, some red letters saying, like, known rage quitter. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, yeah, what you do is if someone's known for rage quitting, like let, hypothetically, let's say they start this shit after Evo and it gets decided at December. If they have more than two rage quits per month from then till Evo, like let's say ten, five, let's say ten rage quits, that's it. They're completely disqualified from this damn tournament, especially yeah. if they're that high. You know, you don't time them out. You, don't <laughs> you just you just want to give them the asterisk. It's like uh, you know, I'm not gonna say he's a rage quitter, but he might Ooh. be an angry giver up. Check, check it out. <laughs> He's from San Francisco, all right? That's Barry Bonds. Kind Damn. Of they give asterisks out there. They we give asterisks out there. That's right. You know, we give you that arm dope asterisk. Nah. Nah, man. <laughs> I don't like it. I still I still want to just say, like, you know, like, red letters, known rage quitter. And by the way, this guy will not be winning any of the money. Or but they're going to hit you with the scarlet letter. Yeah, yeah basically, yeah, man. Letter. Like, if he, if he gets any word, they just say, like, hey, congratulations, you get nothing. It's like you've won the five hundred million dollar prize, and the jeers of all your compatriots. <laughs> How does it feel to be on top? It's lonely, isn't it? <laughs> enjoy your prize. Um, probably we're probably the only two people that would really enjoy that. Yeah, I'd, I'd totally laugh my ass off, like so loudly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, at least they're doing something though, so that's cool. I don't they're know. If trying. They're, they're trying. They're I mean, trying. It's a, it's yeah. a weird situation. They put themselves in a very tough circumstance where they're just like, we made our online ranking mode tied into our giving you money. Hmm. That's that's a pretty big risk. <laughs> hmm. I mean, considering that we would have just been happy with them making a very you know competently made online netcode like a smooth experience like you get from games like you know ki we would have been totally happy with that they added in you know the extra you know element of like this shit matters we don't know exactly how it's going to matter but we know it matters somewhere to somebody eventually so probably want to you know it's 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 literally almost hard it's never been done i guess i feel like it's never been done yeah, and like I, I went on my tirade before, and it's just like it, it sucks for them. Yeah, but there's also a lot of stuff where I'm just like, where was the a little bit of thinking beforehand? I mean, I'm sure they thought about it. They were just like, I mean, maybe they felt like we had to do something. You know, maybe they felt like they had to do, like they had to do it now, or they're never gonna do it. You know, like there's times where you're just like, you know, you got shit or get off the pot. <laughs> I love using that euphemism. Yeah, that's that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a thing. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I applaud them for trying. I'm always going to be happy when people are, even, even if they're failing, I'm like, hey, at least they're trying to do something. It's just like, man, that's 
gonna be one hell of a train wreck if it goes down like that. Yeah. But let's be positive about it. I mean, at least they got we've got like great tournaments again happening. Nobody's upset about you know um like we're, nobody's upset about tournament results. Like so far, that's been fairly uh fairly solid. Nobody's had anything to complain about other than like you know infiltrations of gatekeeper, and that might not even be true anymore because he got Mika at Street Fighter Crash. Yo, Crash was so much fun to watch. Dude, that was insane. I love that shit. <laughs> the, the fucking like Christian rock, dude. The Christ core is that. Christ that core was me. so sick. I really want to know what that like Stone Temple Pilot sounding <laughs> song was. It actually got stuck in my head. Like I was like, I don't know if this is a remix of Sex type thing or just like their own take on it. But like, this is my shit. It sounds pretty good. They're, they're, like all those songs were solid, but I was just like, uh, uh, it, it, it just came on at really weird moments. Like, like I don't know if anybody remembers back in like. The late 90s, early, mid-2000s when, like, you know, K-pop and HK-pop got big enough to end up on, like, you know, TV screens at Quickly's. And, like, there'd be music videos that were, like, set to really, like, you know, unfitting music. Like, it kind of felt like that. And DDR had K-pop. And DDR had K-pop, you know. And it's like, it's, it's basically just felt like that all the time. Like, when I was watching uh, Street Fighter Crash, it's just all like... Yeah, because they, they would have, like, the subtle cutaways where they're, you know, trying to give some in-depth commentary as to, like, yeah, you know, that was a really smart parry. It made it so you didn't have to guess side to side. And, you know, and, the, like, they're trying to explain the, the nuances and all that. And then you get... All of a sudden, <laughs> here comes Chad Kroger going... Bruh! Like, it's like, what? <laughs> They actually had Nickelback. Right. They actually had Nickelback yeah. playing. I was like, what the, the thing hell? Is, is that for all the generic rock there was, there was actually like real music. There was some real music. They had Hammerfall playing. It was pretty sick. I love Hearts of Fire. So, I I, I like the presentation of Tekken, of uh, Street Fighter Crash more than anything. The gameplay is it's fun to watch. We had some good matches. Yeah. Watching Infiltration get me good was pretty damn entertaining. Um, I think uh, this is going to be a pretty good program to keep track of. That's yeah, yeah I, I got nothing but like, good things to say about it. We actually had like they had like some foreign teams there too. Like it wasn't just like you know all Korean natives. You had the Japan team. Mm -hmm. uh, there was actually a team of like Americans, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I think they live in Korea though. Oh, do they? Yeah, uh, from what oh, I understand, shit. they were K Korean. Uh, like they they work in Korea or they live there, but they also play Street Fighter, as far as I know. Um, but yeah, uh, apparently one of them is from out here. Uh, I forget it. what was it. Um, like apparently he played he used to play ST on GGPO or some shit. Huh. So so yeah he was a, he's a local boy. Uh, he was playing Vega and got bodied though. He's the one that did that. Uh, he got parried three times. God, oh, he was, was the guy crazy. that got sunned. <laughs> he got sunned so hard. Holy shit! <laughs> like I was just like I think everybody reeled back in their seat like that was looking at that going whoa, but uh, who was the guy that got god matched? Oh. Because there actually was somebody that got double perfected, and that shit was just one of those, you're like, well, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I might have, was that towards the end? Yeah, it was really. Okay, was I think I missed that one. Oh, man, that sounds amazing. That, I think, I almost want to say it was Amika that got matched them, because it was just one of those, like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> just kept hitting those buttons, man. Yeah, it's just like, nope, kept, you're not guessing right at all. Kept jumping in the wingless airplanes like he's not going to do it a fifth time. Of course he's going to do it. <laughs> What was up with your boy, like, the, the guy playing Laura, like, he had, like, the most brilliant reads ever, like, and he just wouldn't capitalize, like, he'd be like, oh, hey, I think he's gonna do something, so I'm gonna come in with this, like, you know, Ford, was it Fort Fierce, like, just, like, raw, he did the over, like, that, that lunging elbow. Or like he comes yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, like that guy had the best decisions with no closeout, like, with, no follow through. Yeah, seriously, like, I didn't, like, who like, the fuck does that? I'm like, this guy's movement's, like, pretty good. He's baiting DPs left and right. He's counterpoking, okay? And it's like, yo, big damage punish? Um, mm. I don't know about that. That sounds a little... I didn't read this part of the book. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I just, I just went and did the research. You guys are going a little bit over ham because it doesn't seem like online point leaderboards matter at all. It's all just about, like, points you get from tournaments. And is that what it is? So the online leaderboard stuff is still just, like, nothing. Because I could have sworn Apparently. I Apparently. Like, at this point, they haven't said you get Jack Diddley shit. Okay. All right. That makes me feel better. Because I could have I sworn I heard Combo Fiend say, like, hey, we're going to be looking at online ranking. Yeah, I, I almost like, want to say that um, they said that somebody, that, that would matter for one person. If that's the case, they probably are going to hold an online tournament. There, you know, there are going to be a couple online tournaments for points. Yeah. But, oh, okay. But the online, your, like, LP or whatever the hell it's called, doesn't, at this point, doesn't get you anything. Like, they could at least maybe give them, like, one of those 
what the what are the old Capcom points you uh the fighter points you get in your old oh, games? Like you get in one yeah. of those T-shirts. Fighting Edge, baby. Yeah, there you go. Bring back the Fighting Edge uh, Letterman jacket. So oh. it doesn't look like Arturo being at the top. Means Holy shit! Yeah, you're happened. right. Like, like even he believes that because he's just like over there fighting tooth and nail. Well, I think the thing about it is, is so I think when they first announced it, they made it seem like that. But then if you look on the website, it doesn't bear that out at all. I mean, I, I also. Well, what does the? Can we say this for a second? What does the website bear out besides the standings at the moment? It gives you nothing. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, we don't have the rules. Look, right I want to find out it's, it's, about the rules and the way the CPT set up. I don't know about all the. I, I don't know about all those rules things you're looking for. <laughs> oh, let's check out these sponsors. Xplit. Oh, there's only one. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> what is that voice? <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. I'm upset. <laughs> it's the guy from uh, The Simpsons, right? That yeah, it's a uh, yeah, pimply face nerd. Yeah. 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 Now, Mr. Capcom, we forgot to put the rules on. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck does this website tell us? All right, here's the standings. They're pretty up to date. The West Coast 105 is on there. You got the schedule. That's that's up to date. Videos. Uh, it's taking a while to load. I'm going to assume there's nothing here. <laughs> Oh, hold on. No, here we go. Okay, we got videos from a couple tournaments. That's cool. The About. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, the game, yeah. Okay, so 11 qualify via Global Premier Events. One is invited from EVO 2016. Four via Regional Finals, one from each event. One via Regional Global... One via Regional Point Leaderboards, top two from each reason, region. And then eight qualify via the Global Point Leaderboards. <laughs> so what does that mean? Global point leaderboards. So you so have the, to. Okay, so basically, when you play in a ranking or premiere or whatever event, you get points. Those points not only are those are your overall points, but there are actually, I guess, there are two. There are two leaderboards: an overall global leaderboard that just compares you to everybody, and then there are regional leaderboards that they will also pull people. Oh, from. What the hell? They're, they're, I don't know. It sounds way too complicated. There's regional qualifiers, though, right? That's another thing we have to remember. Yes, yeah. there is, but I don't know how that's going to work, if that's going to be an automatic or if that's just going to be a shit ton of regional points. Hmm. This is overly convoluted. <laughs> this, is, uh, <laughs> this definitely sounds like Calvin Ball. <laughs> They're just making this shit up. Like that's why the rules got taken down, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so wait. So none of these online leaderboards matter. Why the fuck are people rage quitting? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, we have... This, is, this entered another realm of stupid. Now I'm just sad, man. Like, now I'm just like, we literally... Like, everybody right now is what, like... There's people listening to this right now who are just, like, looking at their stick and, like, wondering why they broke it last night in a fit of rage from losing to an Ultra Bronze. I mean, you still have to and remember it, that that people duck <laughs> players like Ogawa and Machibu in arcades in Japan because they don't want to lose points off their fucking rank that doesn't get you anything and only affects a title on an arcade machine, right? I mean, so, that's, that is true. That is true. This is this is a phenomenon that we will never quite be able to probably eradicate. And any anytime you have some kind of ranking system of anything, like any sort online, people are going to rage quit. Simple as that. It's not going away. It's not going anywhere. No matter what we do about it, it's going to stay there. It's just going to happen. This has been going on for 15 plus years now. Kylera was it was like this on Kylera. Even there was no ranking system on Kylera when they made like what was it? Two DF. They had a ranking system. People rage quit like crazy just so they they wouldn't be ranked. So they could say like, hey, I'm like number three guy, yeah. but I rage quit. Exactly. They should still put no one rage quitter under their name if they ever make it to it's, CPT they finals. Just want, they just want the quote unquote prestige that comes. Oh, with the people. NRQ, oh, the Scarlet Letters. Yeah, they just want to be one here's of the a, best here's players. Here's a quick question: Didn't there's already another qualifier besides infiltration? Right? Somebody won a tournament. It was earlier, right? I don't think so. I think they won points. It was like, wasn't it like a Laura player who qualified? That was points over in Europe. Yeah, oh, Mr. okay. Cruiser. There was just points. It wasn't was premiere. It was a ranking event. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The standings are up to date. So infiltration okay. is Capcom quali Capcom Cup qualified, and the rest of them below him are all still in, in point standing. So Tokido okay. is at two fifty six. Justin Wong there, and the one you're thinking of is Mr. Crimson from France, uh, who is currently fifth in the standing. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. And so right yeah. now, I guess the ranking tournaments are the paper chase, where they're just like now you got to go to 
like all these events because I guess she. Well, yeah, no, I've seen a lot of top like like a lot of players just talking about like yeah, it is the paper chase. Mm -hmm. Like holy hell. And the other issue is uh, people keep saying Infiltrate is just a gatekeeper. He's just entering just to be a dick. He's not. He needs to, in order to say number one, he needs to widen his gap yeah. between him and number two. So he can still earn more points. He's in for sure, but he's not the first seed. He's going to want to be the first seed, so he's going to try to win as many points. As well, and I mean, there's money at each of these tournaments, too. That, that also true. helps. And for the people who don't know, if Infiltration happens to win another premier event, whoever is second place gets uh, the spot. No, they don't this year. Oh, they, they changed. Hold oh shit. Th that was changed this year because he won another one. Actually, he won. What was it? Was NorCal Regionals a premier event? I think it might have been. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and so he won, which means nobody gets the spot. The spot will then roll over to. I I forget what they said that the spots will roll over. I think the uh, the leaderboards. They'll just add somebody else from the leaderboards. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. Oh boy. No, yeah, that's actually the bigger scary thing is if infiltration just goes on a tear. Oh boy! Like, there might be a whole bunch of people who just don't get automatic qualifiers. It's gonna be fun. I like it even more now. That sounds like just like they just gave Tony a reason to play. He's like, I can ruin other people's days. Like, right? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a shame if those qualified spots all went into my pocket. <laughs> and it's top thirty-two this year, right? Yes, I believe so. Okay. So, All right. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's honestly not that complicated, but it just feels like there aren't enough breakdowns of how everything works that it's easy to get tripped up on one thing and then just spiral into saying some complete shit that doesn't actually exist. Yep. I mean, you know, let's just clear that up. Online shit don't matter. Go look at their website, and hopefully one day we have the rules. Yeah, I mean, okay, that part, that part, there isn't anything. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we, the rules, we, I, yeah, like if anybody's got like you know a screen cap of the rules from months ago, we'd love to read them. But unless they suddenly change the rules, it's like you know, it turns out on this web page it said uh, no infiltrations, oh. so you can only win one. There you go. Yeah. So. We talked a lot about Capcom. But, we did. Uh, SNK released a trailer for two characters. One new character and one mine. And I'm sure Hell Pockets has an opinion on this. What's he doing? It, it sounds like Chris is fumbling for his mic, honestly. I'm here. Hellfock? Yeah, okay. So What's anyway, uh, Antonio Banderas was announced for... Um, <laughs> he is the Desperado. He's got the goddamn Zoro mask on, alright? Oh, yeah. This is Tim. So, He's a, uh, a Japanese aficionado. All right. That's he's KOF that. chip. They, that's what they said about yeah. him on the profile. They said he yeah, loves. No, he's KOF's yeah, chip. Yeah, that's love, all he is. Love ninjas. He, is, he has moves from Samurai Showdown, from Eiji, from he has moves from all the SNK games that have ninjas and samurais and shit. And he's got tentacles on his pants. The hell? On his pants? He's a cyber. Nin he's a cyber ninja. From Brazil. What's, there's yeah. no cyber anything about what cyber. What? He's, a, he's got, like, steel plates on his arms. Probably pots and pans he got from his mom's kitchen. All right, something... <laughs> something more important. Um, well, not really, but apparently we have to spell... <laughs> spell we have to spell his name with... <laughs> Damn it, I almost tried to be serious. Uh, we have to spell his name with an I. So from now on, I'm going to spell it with an I, because that is the proper uh, Brazilian-Portuguese spelling of the word name Branderas. So, S and K, clean that up. So wait, the original trailer is just straight wrong. Yeah, they it, that is the nice. uh, that is the Spanish spelling for the name apparently because that that's who they are naming him after is you know Antonio Banderas, but since he's from Brazil, they got to put the I in there after the E instead of you know just using a different name instead of just using a different right. name. Yeah. Look, there's a got character it. named Mark Steele. All right. <laughs> His name was spelled one way for over a decade, and then they just randomly changed it in the past five, six years. Who cares? <laughs> I, I'm just throwing this out there. Yeah? I mean, okay, still, you're, you're not hey, wrong. You're not wrong. His mama named him Still. I'm going to call him Still. S-T-I-L-L. -L. <laughs> I'm just really glad they put Hell Pockets in the game. Thank you. Finally, I'm getting the respect I deserve. 
And even if I am a gigantic weeb, <laughs> it's totally I mean, that part of the equation is really true. I know. Like, is that he it. wants to be a ninja, and you know he wants Maya to teach him like ninja way or whatever. But it's actually a very legit ninja for a, like a ninja character. Yeah, like, for a pretender, he's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's like he's got the illusion techniques. He's got like the ground. He's explosion. more ninja than my actually is. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what does my do his moves? Uh, throws fans, cartwheels. Uh, she has the, the, the uh, wall dive. That's, yeah. that's pretty hard. Flame pillar. Okay, that's kind of maybe. She's more of the uh, shinobi magic type ninja. She does a cartwheel into an elbow smash. She throws them bows. Yeah, she... Taijutsu. <laughs> Oh, I so my like guy is the rock lead. <laughs> 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 God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. You know, maybe if she fucking broke the gates, she'd be better than mid tier in most games. Jesus! Uh, see, you just did it. You just gave them an idea. They're like, you know, we should give my gates. Like, <laughs> just opens the eighth one, she starts bleeding like crazy, and like that would be she's, like, super fast. You know what? You know what? When I watched this trailer, at first I was like, oh shit, they gave my Isna a drop, and then I realized it was him, and I was like, oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. That means Maya isn't an actual ninja. No, she's not. No, I mean, every, wait, hold on, every, hold on, she never hold was. Every ninja character, even Batsu, the most not ninja character, has an Izuna drop. But fucking Maya doesn't have an Izuna drop. I was about to make the argument, thinking you were discriminating against Taijutsu users, but then I realized even Rock Lee had an Izuna yeah, drop. Yeah, he has an Izuna drop. It's like his Everybody main move. Everybody has it except Mai, and I guess Andy doesn't. Either. Yeah, I don't remember him. Remember him. Oh, Andy's not a. He's not a ninja. He's a. He's like some weird. Uh, striker, I don't know. They've never quite explained what the hell he is. He's an urban youth from the inner city. I mean, okay. Jubei's not a ninja either, yet he teaches ninjas. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> if like, you're I'm, a ninja, you have an Izuna drop. That's kind of like the deal. Even yeah. Vega, the Spanish ninja. <laughs> I mean, hey, he was trained by Geki, though, so that totally makes sense. I mean, still. No. If you want to be a ninja, you gotta have the Izuna you gotta have the drop. Izuna drop like, I'm just... Uh, all we need to know, it looks like KOF ninjas may be the wackest of ninjas in general. I don't know, I think Bandera's a Okay, okay, you know what, no, I'll, I'll break it down a little bit. Fatal Fury ninjas. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I, I, could, I could agree with that. Just SNK ninjas in general. Like, fuck AG. No, be, yeah, I was about to say, at least AG was a ninja. Like, he even, I mean... He's an annoying-ass ninja. <laughs> what about the kid in... Ninja, please. The kid who was basically Naruto. Like, what about that <laughs> kid? He's not oh, very you're talking about, uh... Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah, did Earthquake yeah. have any Zuna drop? No, but he was like not really a ninja. He was just like whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa. He's, ninja, whoa. Right? he's definitely he's, a ninja. He's, he's the American ninja. No, that's Galper. Yeah, no, ninja. you he's stupid just, shit. Oh, we Galper talked about this. Galper? He's he's Spanish. He's the, he's the Texan ninja. Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> 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 Look, the I want to know about the lone the lone shuriken ninja. Okay. God, Don't mess with tech fans. Like, like, so this shotgun for the cool guys. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> All right, so, so right, let's quickly. We yes, we've done we've done this breakdown. The time that Galford is supposed to be in quote unquote the United States. It wasn't the United States. Yeah, so he's in San Francisco, which at the time was Spanish-occupied California. So he's a conquistador? Yeah, uh, it, it would make sense that, he, you know, since he's, like, blonde and shit. So, I mean, it's not too far off, I guess. And when he gets angry, like, his true, like, you know, pigmentation shows, and he gets, like, super tan and everything. Even and his like, dog's got an Izuna drug. Damn. That's true. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Dog. Poppy. More ninja than Andy and Mai. Poppy <laughs> more legit than Andy and Mai. That's, that's great. Poppy way better. more legit. <laughs> Wait, Gibby, does, does Hukoto Maru have, a, have an Izuna drug? Uh, no, he's got an air throw where he just slams you on the floor. It's a childish version of it, but sure. I mean, that's what he gets from learning ninjutsu. He does have a log replacement, at least, right? Like, he does have Call of Duty, yes. He disappears. Like, here's the thing. He can actually teleport. Okay. So that's that's a ninja thing, right? He can triangle jump. That's what most ninjas can do. But, like, that's it. Not much of a ninja outside of that. He's basically, like, half-ass uh, Andy. I'm telling you, man. They're, like, they're different kind of... They're, like, more ninja magic, like, than ninja... Stealth oh, they're, and, oh, they're from Shinobi? Yeah, they're basically Shinobi ninjas, you know? Uh, I know he doesn't need it, but does Zontets have 
It is in a drop. I mean, he might. We just He's never got use it. Better than it is in a drop. <laughs> I mean, he genuinely drops on him, but you know. it's just from a blow, like bam. I would call that the Zuna drop. Like you disappear, and the next thing you know, you're just like lying on your skull in the middle of the road. Yeah. Fuck Zan Tetsu. SNK ninjas really don't have that that uh, that often. You know what SNK ninjas have? They have yeah. spinning like a ballerina. <laughs> That's true. They, they do. Have real aging. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, you know, that works for them, right? Yeah. And look, if you want to get technical about it, all the characters in Metal Slug are ninjas too because they got Zantetsu's sword later on in the series and they just cut the <laughs> and that thing is broken the shit. <laughs> oh, imagine that. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. What were they thinking? <laughs> yeah, I have an idea. Let's thinking. do air air kunai. Thinking. Now I have half my bar. Let's do another one. All right, hundred percent. You can blame, you know, that's that's your boy. That's your boy, uh, Dice Gay. So, oh, so during the course of the show, Giles, uh, Giles, critical art has been released, and his his arms go nuts. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> Our boy Red Mage tweeted at us. You might want to take a look at it, Chris. Oh my oh, God! Man, this is like this is like <laughs> Paul Blart went on steroids. <laughs> Steroids and synthol. Oh shit! He just Popeye on <laughs> Kyle. Holy yeah, he just Popeye right there. Like his 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 fucking American flag. Like, holy oh, shit! My like, fucking World War One like uh, fucking fleet of like ships just like shooting cannons and shit. <laughs> what oh, the hell was that? <laughs> what the, what the hell? Kyle's the fucking sickest character. What? I swear. Those arms are filled with patriotism. <laughs> Now I'm a jerk Ooh. and everybody <laughs> loves me. <laughs> what the also, hell, his, man? Also, his stance is so sick. Like he is legit. Like come out of Street Fighter Two with this. I love it. Somebody gotta get him off that. Be the sickest character. Yeah, get him off that HGH, man. It's not good for you. <laughs> That's pure synthol. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, he got those Steiner arms? Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the guile math. You come yeah. at this Sonic Boom, you got a 63 and a 13. <laughs> but if so, I throw two more, it's <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call fucking Vince McMahon. This this boy's going over. Look at it. It's still a charge move, too, so it's back forward, back forward. That's fair. But what you <laughs> know is he can't beat me, so he's not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to die in a chip. <laughs> If you add up the number, <laughs> it spells disaster for the rest of the cast of Street Fighter V. You gotta remember, too, this Sonic Hurricane, I don't know if it's gonna change, but apparently it's different in V-Trigger. Like, it's stronger, it goes further, oh, and I think it does more I, hits. God, so. I hope they give him the, like, Street Fighter EX Sonic Hurricane where it's an actual tornado. <laughs> <laughs> it should literally just, like, it should just start playing the Popeyes theme. <laughs> just like you pop feature, you're like. Da -da 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 -da. You know what? Actually, if anybody out there is like, <laughs> making like the guy oh, the version of the Popeyes thing, like isn't the, the same thematic. Oh, I can, can I get the? <laughs> I need the Popeye voice over to this clip. Just as soon as like the the super freeze happens, stands when I can't stand, like can't stand no more. <laughs> 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 His arms get so swole. What the hell? That, that, can, that has to hurt like a son bitch, man. <laughs> And I bet his fucking finisher is the leg drop. <laughs> I almost want to say, like, his tie gets swole for, like, a split second. Like, even his tie gets starts, like, getting all veiny and stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm, I look at his stance, and I remember, like, you know, I just see him, you know, not paying too attention. But I went back and saw his stance at the end. Holy shit, he is, like, hella Street Fighter 2. Like, they just modeled the sprite. Like, he's hella tight in with his fucking yeah. boxing pants. My dude is compact. <laughs> yeah. He's got his shoulders up, baby. Tuck that neck. <laughs> wow, that looks so weird. <coughs> oh my god. Just oh right, well, I mean, we we do enjoy flexing, but there's a limit. What? Right? Nah, nah. I don't know, man. I, I'm not having this. I'm I, kicking you all off the show. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not I'm, I'm not. I'm not down with that dangerous flexing. No such thing as dangerous flexing. That looks pretty dangerous, man. Kyle's the best. Well, apparently, man. Down. I like how cartoony they made it, though. That's like sort of a, I mean, just a little oomph, extra oomph into the game. That might have been pretty vanilla otherwise. So, hold on. This is the official Capcom channel that it's on. This is all we get? Like, Yep. This is the yep. Kyle trailer, baby. 
It's just all right, juiced up hurricane. I all, all you need to know is that he flexes on you and you die. Okay, yeah. that's all you need to know. I'm surprised he does it and not Geef. Like you figure Geef would get that. Like Geef has to be looking at that, going like, "Man, like, what am I doing?" Wrong? I wonder if Hurricane will get improved by his V skill as well. Just V trigger V skill and be like, "This isn't even my final form." Fucking throw out the Hurricane. If there's any justice, it'll be just as bad as it was in four. Damn, it should be just as good as it was in SVC Chaos. <laughs> real fucking fast. Nothing will ever be as good as it was in SVC Chaos for good reason. They should give us booms like SBC Chaos with the no, fucking like give him thirty second charge time or thirty frame charge time. <laughs> give him a boom, 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 boom. <laughs> give him CBS two Sonic Hurricane where it's it's like what one to zero frames where it's like oh did you not block at the start of the round yeah your problem <laughs> <laughs> whoops <laughs> I really wish that he well actually maybe they'll do it his EX flash kick should totally be his SBC Chaos uh, kick super where he goes up and then does the, the axe kick down. That was the fucking sickest guy super. Man. His theme is also apparently out. So huh. we can listen to that later on. Well, it's nice that they're actually showing shit for him. Yeah, I know. This is a lot handled Alex. a lot better than uh, Alex has handled. Yeah, but it's it's good. That's I nice. still like that. <laughs> the One of the Alex win quotes, it says, Are we done? I have to go fix my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I'm like, did they mean to do that, or did they add that after the fact? Like, <laughs> he took a break from like fixing his car. It's like, oh man, I gotta get on this tournament action. Yeah. After all the characters come out, they should release the Alex trailer. That'd be the best. Yeah, I agree. And it should open up with the Rashido music. <laughs> <laughs> it should just be Rashid like flying in and just getting fucking need out of the air. Oh man, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had a I had a thought about something real recently, uh, so that's cool. Uh, I wanted to bring up actually that with Guile coming out now, like a lot of people were predicting it. I wasn't really sure what their criteria was though. So I guess who's next technically, right? Based on whatever criteria was being used for the prediction of Guile, because I was expecting Balrog honestly. Yeah, no, I, aren't they going by the the image? Are they? I don't I don't remember yeah, the, I, the first one on the image. No, though? no, the image is it's supposed to be Alex Guile. <laughs> Somebody was like sciencing it out. And they were like Alex and Guile are the first. I two. hope Barog's next because three Americans in a row, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really hope that with like the Woshiga inspired changes we're getting, we just get really anime Balrog where he just becomes Azrael from Blaze Blue and he's just oh. like teleport dashing and teleport punching. <laughs> yeah, so the the image is Alex Guile, Rog, Ibuki, Jury, Yuri. <laughs> yeah. I think you're yeah you're in the end of the, end of the year definitely. I think Ibuki's American too. You know I mean. <laughs> I mean she, what the fuck? She has very. Does she have an Izuna drop? <laughs> Damn. She's a ninja. In That's training. now the new litmus test. We're all just like, does he have an Izuna drop? Hold I mean, it's on. a but pretty she, good. She has she has the the triple neck snap. That's true, she, she does, does have, have trouble next time, but she but that's, doesn't um, that's have MMA. I mean, that, she's just a, you know... <laughs> just Hold on, but Brazilian what about the magical magical armpit blast? Mm. Well, you know who else has, like, the next uh, snap is, uh... Hunk, Hunk, Hunk fucking Resident, Resident Evil. Oh, and you're gonna tell me, you're gonna tell me Hunk isn't a ninja. Yeah, he doesn't have the Azuna drop. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, like, Ibuki's armpit blast. You live through all blast. those games, you're a fucking ninja. <laughs> that guy's a ninja, like... Hunk is the only character that's like, oh, the Chainsaw Sisters? I'm snapping their neck. All these yeah. other people are like, I gotta shoot them, collect ammo, be resourceful. Chainsaw Ninja comes up to Hunk, or Chainsaw, like, you know, Chainsaw Woman comes up, he's just like, pop your kneecap, snap your neck. <laughs> Who's next? I got 400. <laughs> You're <bullets>. done. <laughs> Who knew it was hey, so efficient? All I'm gonna say anybody. is, even when even when Hanzo went MMA mode and started snapping necks and skulls and shit in Samurai Showdown 4, like, at least he kept his Azuna job. Yeah. That's his big thing. He's like, okay. You know, bust the rib cage, bust the arm. Oh, by the way, bust your fucking head open. Yep. Protect your neck. You're dead. And, oh crap! The, the, <laughs> guile theme, the guile theme is posted. This what definitely mean? sounds like the the subway guy rendition of <laughs> the Street Fighter Two theme. He is. There is a flourish on this. Like he somebody, po- wait, if you have it, Alex, post it in the chat for people. Uh, okay, hold on. Because I don't have the link. Uh, copy link. Let's see if this works. I'm not good with computers. Don't lie to me, son. I'm not. Okay. 
Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Don't want to get the stream muted. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Woo. We didn't do nothing. That was me humming. Oh, dude. Actually, I wish we had Wizard in here. I wanted to ask him a question. About. I don't like this. All right, I'm done. <laughs> what? The song. I don't like it. You don't like? Oh, I'm about to say you don't like me asking Wizard questions on the show. Jeez. Tough oh, no, crowd. We asked him the ultimate question. So, for people who weren't here for it, Wizard wasn't chat earlier. We were talking to him. <clears throat> he assured us that Arc Systems work did not pay to get Guilty Gear in. To oh yes, yeah, so he did say that. We uh, he, we quoted it. He let us know <laughs> they did not give him a dizzy waifu pillow to get the game in. So, he does not have a dizzy waifu pillow. Corruption avoided. Mm-hmm. Now, my question for I'm, him was... Uh, so, I've just been listening... By the way, I, I've been listening to this Gal thing for 35 seconds, and I so far hate it. Yeah, it's bad. I don't like it. I just shut it off after 10, 20 seconds. I'm not waiting. It's just bad. I just gotta say, like, I wonder, like, why why they decide to go in some of these directions with these songs. Like, do they try extra hard to just reinvent something? Because I know, yeah. like, for, like, a lot of... Uh, for like a lot of artists, they want to put their own stamp on a song, and if you just say, "Hey, yeah. can you remake this song that has been remade five times before you by people who were probably better than you?" But you know, just, just do a good job on it, you know. So they're probably thinking, like, "Well, I, I might as well at least make sure people know that it was me making it." What the fuck is this percussion? <laughs> well, Dude, I don't know. Was gotten a rival to remix all the songs and done. That's it. People would have enjoyed it. That's true. I'm also or kind hey, of upset they never what? used that character select scene that that one dude made. That was pretty good. I don't know. Where he did the throwback to the old World Warrior Select thing? No idea what you're talking about. Well, you should look it up on YouTube, maybe. Nah. You should stop you should Stop taking these L's, man. Come on. I'm trying to help you out. Mm. You take three L's, man. I'm going to be really worried about you. I'm going to get, get you some help. Take three L's and call me in the morning. Does <laughs> Chip have any Uh Chip, Chip's the wannabe. We've already discussed this. Yeah, All sure. Right. He doesn't have to yeah. have any Zunadrop. He has the neck snap. <laughs> not, not a Zunadrop. That's still. MMA, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a fast MMA guy. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Like you snapped the neck. I'm like, anybody hey, can do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see you fucking throwing people in the air, diving off walls, fucking dropping them on their head. Come yeah, exactly. Now. now that's ninjutsu. <laughs> just a fast ass Chuck Liddell over here. Man. <laughs> If someone doesn't do to drop an MMA, they'll forever have my first strike. <laughs> oh and my the God. other person will be dead. Yeah, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll accept the Gringo Killer as an Izuna drop too, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, and he's almost killed several people with the Gringo Killer, so. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's not, not the best. Uh... <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> Before we go... Uh, oh, but yeah, I wanted to ask Wizard about that damn uh, here, dang old Evo sportsbook betting that he was talking about. Did they remember anybody memory mentioned that a couple weeks ago? Did was anything happen with that? I don't. Um, nothing it open. Just, hmm? It was just a uh, poll. That's it. Just a poll. Nothing yeah. could happen from it. Well, no, it's just a poll. He's asking people if they felt if they wanted to take live bets and on the booking shit there and see how it goes. So maybe they'll make an announcement. We can ask him again next time we see him. Yeah. I would just like to ask him. Uh, yeah. No, it, it's something that's important because because as you guys heard here first, we're getting liquor and beer and shit inside the goddamn venue this year. That's right, dude. And that's a first. Licorice I mean, and root beer. Hold on. I'm sorry. That's, a, uh, that's an official first because, you know, that, that never stopped people in the past from, from bringing in. Uh, so no longer the days of Watts slipping me 50 bucks to get, <laughs> get everyone a bunch of, like, get as many Coronas as you can. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, um, before we go, there was actually something that uh, I, I, we also wanted to bring up officially. Um, a couple friends of ours over at RUGaming.com have uh, started a Kickstarter uh, campaign for a uh, social networking... Damn it, Thay, what the hell is going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they, started a, they started a campaign for a uh, social networking uh, app or website, if you will, uh, basically designed around gamers. It's supposed to be, you know, a way that, you know, people from all sorts of different interests in gaming can share uh, footage of gaming and whatnot. And, you know, a lot of people are going to compare this to something like YouTube and Twitch where, like, you know, obviously we can, uh, you know, record ourselves and then put ourselves on the internet playing a game and whatnot. And this is not really trying to dispute that, but it's just trying to offer them an alternative that's a little more, you know, cohesive 
to what we're doing. Um, so, I mean, right now it's still in the very fledgling stages. Uh, you can get, we'll post a link up. And you can have a look at it yourself. There's not really much to look at just yet, but the idea itself sounds interesting enough. So, uh, if Gibby, you could get that up somewhere in the chat. Uh, yeah, I already put it in. It is called Project Mecca for now. I don't think that'll be the uh, finishing title, but I mean, I mean, I'm interested to see where this goes. I mean, I think we've kind of, I've always kind of wanted like you know something like Steam, where I could kind of have my uh, my outlets, you know, like my my, uh, my sharing my video sharing outlets, kind of like in the same network as my my gaming accounts, so that there's less like you know. Uh, go between between like you know going from the game to the video editor to uploading to YouTube and whatnot. Uh, maybe even better would be like you know if there's like you know just something that records stuff on its own like with its own app so that you're not always like trying to f split the atom with different ways to record a game. You know, uh, yeah. that's gonna be good with like mobile games because they're talking about doing mobile game recording too. So that's gonna be huge for people who just you know want to broadcast mobile gaming stuff and haven't quite figured out the solution for that yet. And right now it's in very early stages. They're going to have a concept up for people to look at mm -hmm. um, in the coming week, hopefully. So you can get a better understanding of what the site's going to look like and what it's going to do. Uh, but I have put some money behind this. Uh, and I'm broke as shit. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should do the same. If my broke ass can do it, if he can do it, you can do it. I think, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a good product that they're working on. And, and you know, uh, be honest with the guys. They want the thing about it is that they want to hear feedback from the people that are going to be using it, possibly, and they're going to be taking all this stuff seriously. You know, they want to have you know ideas thrown at them because this is a very formless project. You know, this is something that they want to do, but they aren't quite a hundred percent on what you know you know what, how they want to see it and so they're just open to adding stuff to it like i've added out suggestions to them i mean the biggest thing for me is like you know like you go to you, you go to a youtube video right somebody links you to something and it's time stamped and it's a fucking three hour video so the thing that you wanted to see is happening there but then you got like sort of like this little extra carryover that's kind of confusing for people and i'm surprised like there's not no way to like just section that off yet you know like the video just stops where it's supposed to stop so i think i, I pitched that to them and they're just like yeah we should fucking do that so they're they're very serious about, you know, taking people's advice and applying it. So, yeah, you know, hit them up. And they want honest feedback. So if you guys... Like if you're going to uh, poo-poo on it, then poo-poo it. Yeah, they, they really want to hear genuine opinions on stuff, which is nice. It's a nice, fresh uh, <coughs> way of people working instead of like, hey, yeah, just, just tell me good things about what I'm doing and nothing bad. Yep. Mm. Right now, right, anybody got anything else? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, well, Tony, if you have something, mine's pretty short. Mine's pretty short, too. So, today I had the great idea of making uh, oh, the double down version of uh, Katsudan. Holy shit. You know, if, if you don't know what that is, uh, Tonkatsu is generally a deep fried pork cutlet mm. that's breaded. Well, <clears throat> I'm deciding to remove the rice and have it over uh, a bed of carnitas instead. And I just want to hear all of your opinion on this, if this is a good idea or bad. Uh, Deep fried pork on a bed of pork. All right. Go ahead. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna I'm to, all for it. I mean, I, I, as a man who's, you know, going to eat meat mountain before this year is over, I can't technically have an opinion one way or the other on it. <laughs> Uh, he can tell you it may be a bad idea, but he would do it himself. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I, I just have a conflict of interest. <laughs> Yeah, as someone that doesn't want to get involved with the cops and seeing you might die, I'm just going to say, follow your heart. like Out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, as long as it tastes good. Make I, I was going to say, I, like, I, I hate to end the show on a somber note, but it's it's with a heavy heart that I have to tell people that I'm announcing my retirement from Street oh, Fighter 4. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you... You are a moron. Oh, All right. Yeah. We are done. We are done. We've been done, but we're done here. I mean, we so kind of like old overtime. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to thank everybody for listening to this week's show. So from everybody here at Super Desperation Radio, good night and good luck.